Bangkok to Vientiane via Laos Airlines. Laos is not just about temples, monks, and pagodas. We got ourselves a pair of Kawasaki KLX 250s, which we arranged through remote Asia tours. We opted to wing it and go for the self-guided tour. Very rough roads, some great scenery, and some daring exploits were waiting for us. Some of the river crossings may not have been the height of technology, but they were beautiful to say the least. As happened so many times before, it was the kids who really made the indelible impressions. Okay, I better get up. And let me see what we got here. The obligatory bribing cigarettes. We've got a whole carton of them. A whole bunch of junk that's got to go on a tiny little bike. Let's get organized, get Peter out of the sack, and let's get going. How was that? Fantastic. That might be my bad roads, man. <laughs> okay. Check out the ruts here. Well, we're just about, uh, I don't know, I guess seven kilometers outside of Yanchan and we're lost already. But we're just kind of following the sun and see what happens. These are the signs we have to go by. Peter's already way in the field. Continuous directions, but we're getting nowhere. Lots of onlookers. The four kilometers turned out to be about 20. The people in Laos really don't have any idea about distance. Don't have coke? I'm looking at what you like. How about seven up or something? Okay, yeah. here. Forks and suspension need work for sure. Yeah. Pretend there's them things, aren't they? Yeah. That little section I did off road. My XR is leaving the suspension, I'm going leave it for dead. Uh-huh. Yeah, like you say, it seems like a toy instead of a motorbike. Oh, well. And everything feels like it can break off at any time. So we're in this village, we don't know the name of, and all of a sudden Peter has to go to the toilet again very badly. Uh, there's no toilet, there's, a, there's an outhouse, an outhouse over here. So they gave him a bucket and now he's sitting there comfortably in the outhouse. How are you making out in there, Peter? I'm doing okay. I'm very glad to hear that. I don't, he I don't hear anything flushing. <laughs> Only me. 
<laughs> now that's blushing. I think we owe the man at least a couple of seconds of privacy. I hear the sound. There he is. Emerging. I got my bucket. <laughs> that was an interesting experience. Oh my god. <laughs> well, they saved my life. Sit down. Sit down. Sit down. <laughs> Peter's buying some sweets for the kids and they're waiting with great anticipation. Look at these kids, how cute they are. Okay. Yeah, Leo. Leo. Come on, sir. 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 Come on, We lost each other, but thank goodness if we found each other again after about 30 kilometers. <laughs> and we're going across the river in a pontoon boat with the bikes. So our guest house in Pak Lei, it's comfortable enough, twelve dollars. And Peter should be arriving shortly, there he is. Ever the hot dog. And nice ride. I think we've broken the bikes. Yes, we do have a leak here. We'll have to get that fixed in Lung Prabang. <laughs>